Hello everyone, this is Mr. Monty Havoc bringing you episode 12 of The Gun Show and today we are doing the M249, an adapted version of the Belgium original. The M249 was modified to conform to the United States design requirements. The M249 has seen every seen action in every major conflict since the 1989 version invasion sorry, of Pamina and has earned its reputation as a reliable weapon. A uh, single M249 can supply suppress suppressive fire equivalent to 15 riflemen. The M249 comes equipped by default with a bipod for supported shooting. 800 rounds per minute. I was shocked. And when I first used it, I was like, whoa. This is like close to the MG3 in Bad Company 2 where that thing was like devastating. It was like a like you know like it's like it would turn fire if it was like a like if you were trying to real but anyways suppressive fire that's what it does i like it when i'm using rush because i'm able to take not able not even able to take down the person and able or able to take or scare them off i should say too because if your screen is turned blurry which it would when you're getting shoot at if you miss because um, you know like the rate of fire on this is like intense so you might see somewhat of recoil on it it's not as bad as the L other lmgs right like i'm talking about like the big ones m60 m240 b pkp but you know for something that has 800 rounds 800 rounds per minute unlike the other ones it's like moderate rate of uh rate of recoil i should say so but anyways the 800 rounds per minute is a pro what i find about a con for this is if you're carrying a hundred round magazine, you're gonna tend if you like like you know suppress people a lot. You tend you're gonna see the tend to like have to reload more, just like the MG3. Not as bad as the MG3, but you know you're gonna gonna have to reload when you put the extended mags. Is gonna help a lot. Some, you don't have to worry about it as much. And if there's like a bunch of enemies, which happens in Operation Metro Conquest, if if I were to record it and tell you, oh. You know, that would help you a lot. You don't have to worry about... That's what I like with LMGs. You don't have to worry about too much of, re of, uh, of reloading instead of... Uh, unlike the M27 IR and RPK, those are not really, like, LMGs, but... Anyways, that's the only con I see in it. So, the attachments I'm using is Red Dot Sight, uh, Laser, and Foregrip. The laser is going to help you in close quarters, and also the... The rate of fire is also going to help you in close quarters. So, like, if you miss, you're still going to shoot, like, a bunch of rounds into a guy. Some, sometimes I lose. Sometimes I win. So, it's just, like, half and half. Um, it's better sometimes to go fully automatic than burst fire with this because you get increased um, accuracy if you go fully automatic instead of burst fire is what I see. And it's, like, in Bat Company, too. So that's what I see, and uh, you can also put a scope on on this. Unlike the other LMGs, like the M60, M240, PKP, this you're able to four, four times scope, but that's made for medium range, not for long range. Unless you want to do long range, you're gonna have to put the holographic or red dot. You can try long range with the the scope, right? But you're gonna like have to tap, and this since this does a, does a lot of rate of fire, you're gonna have a little trouble. But anyways, other than that, I think it's the best LMG. Uh, so this is Mr. Multi Havoc out. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.